All right, hi friends. I'm going to be doing a review slash setup slash some gameplay at the end of this new reform joystick. So you can select between the base that has a 90 degree tilt or the base that lays flat. And it's called a reform because you can take the joystick out of any base that you want, go for right handed left-handed, right-handed without something underneath it, or left-handed without something underneath your left hand. Same goes for the bigger base, right-handed with some support for your hand, right-handed at a 90 degree or 45 degree angle with nothing blocking your um, way. Same this way. So you can turn it any way you want. I'm going to be using this one. It's the way I like to use it. And it comes with a six foot white cable. Uh, no matter what color you get, you get the white cable. Um, it is a micro USB. So you can always switch out to whatever cable you want. But this is what's provided. Let's get it plugged in and set up. I'll put it in this way first. Just kind of slots in there, slides in there. All right, plugged it in. It made the noise like it was connected. There's a little flashing light. I don't know if you can see that. So it's just working. So what you want to do is go down to the link in the description. It's uh, github.com forward slash antimicro forward slash antimicro forward slash releases. I'll just link down in the description to make it clickable or you can use that website and you just download the antimicro for Windows. And I actually already have it installed right here. And then once you have it installed, you click on that and you're actually. Right there. Joystick and then you click on this and it will be your up and down. You can move these little bars. make it your dead zones, your max zones for each one here. So you can switch out your dead zones if you want. I'm not used to that, so, but I don't have problems with that either. So you can change these to whatever key you want if you use the up, down, left, right. Uh, WSD, I mean, you use WSD for your um, fingers here now that you have a joystick. So I wouldn't uh, tell you to use those. But you can use like your number pad over here or whatever you want. Let's just do the number pad for now. So we will see. <clears throat> Go back to normal there. We'll use keys. Um, you can use whatever you want. It presets or you can change it to whatever you want. So see what this one is. This one's up. So I would want to use eight. This one's down. So I'd want to use the number two. Uh, eight and two. You see number two there and it's red. That means you're pressing it eight. So sweet. Yeah, eight and two, close. Um, that's what this was. So, this is six, this is four, 
close. So I got eight, two, six, and four. That's for up, down, left, and right. And then there's also a button that you can press if you press this down. There's a button. You can also put that as whatever you want. In my case, I'm going to use escape because to use escape, I have to move my entire hand off my joystick and everything else is right here. So I'm going to put that to one, map it to my escape key and then you can load whatever game you want. Then I'll do a couple games of gameplay. I personally use it for Fortnite. So let's check that out. Back to when it loads. You can map any of these any of these directions to any key you want. Doesn't matter what key it is. And then you can also map those keys in most games. Fortnite for sure you can. So let's do a battle royale game here. Um Team Rumble, let's play. So it'll still like show you different things too. So I've been using joysticks for a long time. Um, all this match makes will kind of showcase this one a little bit more. The joystick will sit, if the joystick sits on this side and you use it this way, it will tend to pull this up. So like put a book or something on top of this. Um, if you're using it normally like this, it won't because it's, it's actually made for your palms for it not to do that. And same with like a lefty if he was playing like this. Um, it won't go up like that. Um, I personally choose the flat version just because it's more comfortable for me, my personal opinion. But you can choose whichever one you want. Again, this is the Reform joystick for PC. And so far the cheapest joystick that I have found and that and it works just like every other joystick I found two other ones um, Actually both pretty expensive And for the price you're really paying for the exact thing except for one of them I didn't realize, oh yeah, I'm in Team Rumble. I was like, I didn't realize I didn't go in a solo match when I'm in Team Rumble. I don't usually go into Team Rumble. So I, I realized that one of the other joysticks has a button down here and when you're using it, you press that button. So you never ever actually use that button because you take the keycap off to make it go out of your, like out of your range so you don't hit that button anymore. So it's really pointless to even have that button on there. And that's a more expensive uh, controller. And then the other controller, which is even more expensive, I didn't really see a button. So I'm not real sure if that one has a button or not, but I looked at it, I didn't really like the style and I did not like the price. So I just, I exited that. Oh, I could have been showcasing this the whole time. So you move forward, left, right, I mean, pretty much you can go half and half, see, you're actually going half and half. If you're pressing both, it goes half and half. It's full 360 movement. So, hope you enjoy this gameplay and see how the joystick works. Um, pressing escape would be like to bring up my friends or whatever. I don't really like doing that up here. I like to see if my friends are online. Like say if I'm playing um, solos. So every time I'm between games, I like to make sure my friends aren't online. Make sure like if they are online, they're not just playing alone because I was doing something. So I, I like to play press escape, but the escape button does work. It's mapped, so this button works perfectly. 
up, down, left, right. get a better gun here. I want a better gun than an AR. Hopefully like a red eye or something. You're ever stuck in this glitch if you're on Fortnite? I mean, obviously this video might not pertain to you. Stop. Crouch a few times. And then sp go forward. Sprint and go forward. can't tell now if I'm actually in the glitch or not. Doesn't really seem to be going any faster, does he? Sometimes taking a slap will help. Nope. Just the animation. There, that'll definitely help. Can't believe that that glitch is back. back and it's here to stay sometimes jumping inside of the things like trash cans will work but yeah I haven't oh you know what it's building in this I usually play no builds because um, all my friends like no builds See him over there. I did see him. Where is he now? Oh, I think that that truck might have him.
All right, this game could go on forever, but you get the hang of it. WSD, how to set it up. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up down in the comments down there and I will help. Hope you have a great day. Hope this helped you out. If it did, leave a like, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. I know you probably won't, but I'll say it anyways. Thank you. Have fun.